Hello, welcome to this video series in which I'm going to show you how to download and install WordPress. Uh, for those of you who don't know what WordPress is, it's a free tool or platform that you can use to create almost any type of website you want, whether it be a blog, a mini site with just a sales letter, or a fully interactive website that you can use to impress clients and prospects. And the great thing about WordPress is that it's free. In this video course, I'm going to show you how to download and install the latest version, which is version 3.5.2. So that's another great thing about WordPress is that it is always being updated and improved. Okay, so with that said, I hope you enjoy this video course, uh, whether you're using WordPress for your business, uh, for your hobby, or for a nonprofit organization. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download WordPress. You can just go to Google and type in download WordPress and the search results. You just look for the site called wordpress.org forward slash download. That's the site that you would want to go to and just click on that and just look for the link here. It says download WordPress 3.5.2. Okay, so I get a little message below here saying that it has completed. And what you want to do after you download WordPress is look for that zip folder that you just downloaded. And you will want to right click on it and extract all. Okay. and this should just be pretty quick so I'll just wait for it to complete and there you go so uh, the zip folder has been extracted and now I just have a regular folder uh, for my WordPress files In this video, we're going to upload extracted WordPress files into our web hosting account. You could do that in two ways. You could do that by using an FTP server or you could use cPanel. Uh, in this example, we're going to be using an FTP account and you could get a free FTP by just going to Google and typing FileZilla and that is the FTP that I'm using in this video. So what you're going to want to do is go to your site and you're going to want to upload or transfer the WordPress files into your main public HTML account. Now if you don't want your WordPress site to be on your main site, uh, you could create a subfolder for it. And that is what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to create a subfolder. So I'm just going to right click here, create a directory and just say test. WP. So if people want to view my WordPress site, they're going to have to go to mysite.com forward slash test WP. If I didn't create a subfolder, they could just go to my site, mysite.com, and they would see uh, my WordPress site. But for this example, I'm just going to do it in a subfolder. So I'm just going to double click uh, the subfolder that I just created, test WP. And I could go to the left hand side here, look for the files on my computer, but I actually prefer just to go to the folder here, okay, and look for that file that I extracted. So this is the WordPress file that I extracted. I'm just going to double click on it and I'm going to select all and I'm just going to drag it all onto the FTP here so right now all the files are being transferred to my FTP account into that subfolder of my website and this could take a while so what I'm gonna do is just pause the video and I will come back when the transfer is complete okay so the transfer has completed 
and so now what we're gonna do is just go to my site and well first of all before I do that you can see here uh, that these are all the files that have been transferred to the folder test WP okay so what you're gonna want to do is just to make sure that everything is all right just go to your site you can go to mysite.com if sorry just one second here mysite.com or if you transferred it to a subfolder go to that subfolder so in my case it would be mysite.com forward slash test WP that is where I transferred the WordPress files so just go there and you should see this message here which says there doesn't seem to be a WordPress config PHP file blah 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 so what this means is you're gonna have to create a MySQL file or database MySQL database and that is what I'll cover in the next video in this video I'm going to show you how to create a MySQL database so what you're going to, want to do is go to your cPanel your hosting company should have a cPanel cPanel is short for control panel okay to go to your control panel you just type in my site whatever your site is my site dot com forward slash cPanel and then you just enter your username and password okay so what I'm looking at right now is my host gate or cPanel and you're going to want to go down to where it says databases and click on my SQL databases okay just wait for that to load okay so we're going to create a new database here so your new my new database will be called whatever it says here Francis underscore and then you just type in the database name here so uh, let's just say test wt create database and you go back and the first word here before the underscore is usually your username for your cPanel just just for a little bit of information there and so now once you create your database you're going to want to create a new user which you're going to add to this database so here it says add new user let me just type in a new name and you'll have to create a password create user go back and now I'm just going to add this new user to the database. So I'll just look for the user that I just created. Click on add. And now it's going to ask you which privilege you're going to give to this user. And I would just click on all privileges and then click on make changes here it says that your user has been added to the database okay so if you scroll down here or you can see a list of the databases that I have uh, Francis underscore test WT and you can see that there is a user Francis underscore test WT and in this example I made them both the same but of course you could you know give them different names okay so that's it and in the next video 
I'll show you how to put all this information onto your WordPress site. Okay, so I'm back to my WordPress site here where it says I'm missing some information. Now, in the previous video, I just created a MySQL database. So the information I got from that video, I'm going to enter it on to this site. So I'm going to go ahead and create on create a configuration file. And so now I brought with a message here where it says they need my database name, my database username, password, and host. So I'm going to continue. And so now this is where I would enter my database name. So the database name that I created in the previous video was Francis underscore test WP2. And the username just happened to be the same thing as well. And password. And localhost, I'll leave it as that. And the table prefix, I'll leave it at that as well. And now I'm just going to click on Submit. There, so that step is complete. Now I'm just going to click on Run the Install. Okay, now just a little bit more information is needed for us to complete this installation. We're going to type in the site title here. For this example, I'll just say testing WP. Your username is what you're going to use to log in. It could be anything you want. It could be admin. Let's just leave it at admin for now. Uh, the password, you're going to want to enter that twice. So let's just make a password here. and your email and click on install WordPress and there you go installation is complete now you can log in and in the next video I'll show you a quick tour of the dashboard after we log in In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the admin area of our new WordPress site. First of all, let's take a look at what our new WordPress site looks like. So you just go to mysite.com, or in my case, I'll just go to forward slash test WP because that's where I installed the WordPress files. So this is what your new site should look like and you can change the appearance later on. Okay, now if you want to log in to your WordPress site, you would just go to type in after the forward slash, type in w, WP slash admin. So in your case, it may be abc.com forward slash WP slash admin and you just type in your username and the password that you created okay so right now we're looking at the dashboard if you want to customer customize your site you just click on here uh, you can see you can write your first blog post by clicking on here you can add an about page view your site Okay, and on the left-hand column, I uh, just look at it. This is where you could create more posts, add new posts, uh, the media. For example, if you want to add videos or pictures. Um, if you want to change the appearance, you just go to here, appearance, and you just go to themes. So let's just take a look at that. There's a couple of themes available here that you can install right now if you want to change the appearance 
of your site. Uh, you could also just go to Google and do a search for free WordPress themes if you want to search for more uh, professional or just get a different a wide variety of themes that you may want to add to your site. Okay, and let's take a look at the plugins here. So for example, if you want to install a membership site or some cool pop-ups or any interesting tools to make your site more interactive, uh, you would need a plugin. Um, you could do a Google search for free WordPress plugins. And if you want to install a plugin here, uh, you would just go to add new and you would just go to upload and then you just do click on browse and browse your the files on your computer look for that zip folder and then you just install it here and then you activate it okay so I think I've covered everything I need to uh, in regards to installing a WordPress site in the future uh, I may create more videos um, to and how to make a more professional looking site uh, but for now what you've seen is the basics of installing WordPress.